Hi, I'm George Cao, and today I'm here with one of my clients, Bing Zhuang, and I'm excited to share with you what she has learned in our work together thus far. Uh, Bing is one of the members of my client group program. It's called Master Heart, and um, let me read you her bio. Hi, Bing. First of all, let me just bring you forward. Hi, George. Great. Lovely so, to be here. Yeah, great to have you here. So let me read your bio bings for the viewer and then we'll start talking about what you've been learning in your business development so that something maybe others watching this can, can benefit from. So um, let's see here. So Bing Huang is a self-love coach and an energy healer. And her mission is to help heart-based business owners, which are many of you, to unwind your emotional resistance, as well as uh, your physical pain, to relieve that, that might be getting in the way of ha you having your thriving business that you, that you like. Her unique gift is helping clients feel healed, effective, and happy as they grow their heart-based business. And Bings is in Singapore. Uh, she works with people around the world, so um, don't be shy if you are you know in North America or Europe or Australia uh, you can still work with things so things thanks for doing this thanks for being here today thank you for the opportunity yeah so one of the things you mentioned in our preparation for this call was that you used to of course do your you do healing one-to-one -one, and you didn't used to share content because you felt like that your perspectives you only shared them with your clients what helped you to start sharing your perspectives about healing and energy more openly? Uh, I guess I've been listening and watch, I've been watching your videos and I've been reading your posts and I really like what you shared. It helps me to build a much better connection with you. So I would like that. To, for my audience too. So that is the, I, I think that is the main motivation that made me want to experiment with this approach. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. And you have been doing some writing. Um, mm -hmm. People, your audience is starting to like your writing there. And you also uh, have started making videos. So maybe yes. talk, talk to us a bit about each one. What is it like for you to, uh, I mean, did you used to write a lot? Um, let's start with writing. Did you used to write a lot or is it a new thing for you uh, to write publicly? Tell us about that. Uh, I used to write very short posts um, during the times when I feel very uh, motivated by a client session. That, this particular experience made me want to share uh, this uh, the insights that were gained during the session itself, which I feel is really important to be shared. So that made me feel like, oh, I want to share this. I really want to share this. And um, but I don't, I don't really do that regularly enough. So um, so I would share when the pressure is built up. <laughs> So much that I feel like I, I, I just have to share, even though I, I don't feel confident in my writing. And uh, now I just, uh, I feel like it's easier to create content just by create, curating the curating content that I consume on a day-to-day -day basis, like links that I love, videos that I love, uh, even books or uh, even a uh, comedy series that I feel is uh, helps me understand more about my own work in healing emotions. So uh, yeah, I, I think that's great. And uh, usually I just share, previously I just share without adding anything, without any, adding any comments. So it's like a viral share, just share now, share now. Uh, but lately I spend more time in adding my thoughts, adding how this post, this particular piece of content is relevant to my business vision, which is restoring likeness and magic to your everyday life. So I find it 
very meaningful and it also gives me great pleasure to uh, uh, increase the value of that particular post. And yeah. as for videos, uh, oh, let me always... let me jump in a little bit here. I want to just you you said a lot of great things here, and I uh, I I, I want to emphasize it for for everyone who's watching this. Okay. You know, if you're watching this and you aren't sure what content to share, do what Bing's has been doing, which is share the content from other websites, other people, other people's videos, other people's links that you have found beneficial, other articles you've read, like things that you've written, maybe read a book or you watched a television series that like kind of somehow relates to your service in the world, share that. And you know, things are saying, you know, she used to just share it without saying anything, but now she says a little bit something to make it more relevant, right? Things to your, yeah. to your audience. So uh, I'll be sure to put a link to Bing's Facebook uh, fan page so that you can see what, how she's doing that. Uh, I think that'll be interesting. And then Bing's, you also said that you, you share insights that come to you when you work with clients, when you have a client sessions. So tell us a bit about that. Um, uh, yeah, the kind of, yeah, just any, anything you want to say there. Um, so sometimes when I work with clients, certain things keep popping up, uh, like um, having a mistrust in the universe. Uh, or feeling very lonely uh, because there's nobody else like what my uh, what my client is doing. So she uh, some of my clients they they have a very specific purpose in life, but sometimes they feel lonely. So it's a thing that keeps popping up, and and when I think of the insights that come, which is to to just feel the love. That's, that's already here. Uh, it's, it's something like your energy reboot that you mentioned about in your workshops. Um, yeah, I think it is a very simple insight, uh, uh, really a simple reminder. I believe that we are, we are all aware of this, but it's, it doesn't get mentioned often enough. So I felt uh, this great motivation to share. <laughs> And talk a bit about your consistency now that you are getting more consistent. Maybe how, how are you able to be more consistent? What's motivating you or what, what did you change to allow yourself to be, become more consistent with your content? Uh, I really want to create more healing videos because I find it, I, there are so many healers around, but each of us has a different style to it a different uh, perspective on, on healing. So I wanted to offer people a taste of what my healing is like. And, um, but it was, it felt very difficult to create the video in the first place because I had so many ideas uh, running around in my head. I didn't know how to share. And uh, when I set out certain guidelines, like limiting each video to be five minutes long, uh, then it becomes easier to share my views. And uh, I, I have a list of ideas for mini videos that's, that keeps on growing. So I felt motivated to share, like uh, to post one video every week. And the other thing is I'm also not particular about the location which I record the video. So it makes it a lot more easier to share, to create videos more on a more casual basis. Yeah, like one of the videos you made recently where you were in your car, right? <laughs> and you know, there were sounds of birds and you were maybe some traffic and you were concerned that oh, maybe it's not good to have these background sounds. But when you shared it, of course you shared it inside uh, the client group, our client group, Master Heart first to, or you got asked for some feedback on it and everybody said you know what that the background sounds actually makes it seem more authentic it actually doesn't take away from your video it maybe adds to it right yeah. so 
I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I, I really appreciate the support, encouragement, and feedback in the Master Heart group. Uh, in the past, I would spend a lot of time and effort to create one video. Then I would be so anxious to get feedback. And I felt like this defeats the purpose of me sharing and blessing everyone with my videos. So I'm, now I feel much more uh, grounded in that approach in creating consistent videos. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, it kind of takes the initial wave of support from, you know, I always tell people, listen, if you're not comfortable on video first, just make some videos, share it with a group of supportive friends, um, you know, whether it's like a client group like Master Heart or just your own, you know, three friends that are supportive of your business and are likely to encourage you, just share it with them first and say, hey, I'm learning how to make video. I'd love your encouragement or any suggestions, you know, be gentle. <laughs> and yeah, people are usually very supportive. Uh, if you pick the right people to share with and that kind of support will motivate you to keep going. And then as you share more with your audience, you know, you'll start getting more encouragement. So what have you noticed in starting to post content more regularly uh, in terms of your own visibility and in terms of your engagement with people? Tell us a bit about that. Um, I, I feel like I have, I'm getting a lot more comments and likes and even shares by people, I, uh, by my audience, whom are not my family and friends. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so in the start, we always get support from family and friends who like your videos, but sometimes you, you don't really think they would actually watch it. But now I feel more confident that uh, there are actually people watching it and actually sharing it forward without me asking them to do it. So that feels very, very, very wonderful. It's, it feels like I'm, I'm uh, contributing, like, even though it's not a, I'm not getting paid for this, but I feel like I'm getting more uh, sure of the work that I do as a healer. So when the paid clients come, uh, I'll be able to be more confident in, uh, and I'm more confident in knowing what I can provide them. And uh, other than that, I'm also getting some inquiries on my services, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic. Um, and just to give people context, like you have three young children. Yes. I mean, you're a full-time mom. Yeah. And you are building this business very much on the side. When did you kind of start creating this business? What was, what's your, what's been your journey? Just kill, give us a little bit of context. There. Okay. Uh, this business is my first baby. And uh, I, I was actually working at this, uh, uh, in the aircraft industry doing continuous improvement. But I got, I felt jaded in the sense that, um, I'm not, uh, the people I work with, they're not happy because they're sort of forced to do it. So I wanted to do things on a more personal level. So continuous improvement on a person to person uh, basis, yeah, on a personal level. And uh, that's how I got to know and learn about energy healing. And I had the courage to do the business after I left the company, and uh, but very soon after, I we were blessed to have our first child. So, um, so after the first two kids, I felt the urge to go back to it again, to, to grow my business. And yeah, I've, I've not uh, gone as in. I I feel very. I feel very happy and fulfilled uh, nurturing both my children and also this business. Yeah. I think it's a good uh, balance to do both this business and also in nurturing my family. Mm. Yeah, and your children get to grow up seeing you do something you love. Yes. You know? And that's such a difference because I remember growing up with... Um, adults around me who were stressed by their work and didn't really love their work. 
So it's, it's, it's quite a wonderful role model that you're, that you're creating. And um, that's great. And you're starting to get more inquiries because of the content. And I think it's going to keep growing. Uh, and you're also in the process of creating like online workshops and online courses, right? Yeah, um, I was very excited to have my first collaboration doing an online class uh, with a fellow Master Heart member. And yeah, that makes me feel so happy doing a, a group healing live. And I, I really want to do more of that. And so now I'm exploring doing an online class to help people, to help heart based business owners become more comfortable with being more visible in their business. Yeah, wow, that's great. It's going to be such a need uh, and, and a want, I think, from the audience. So, um, do you have a sense of when, uh, well, I'll be sure to give people a link to your website and your Facebook so they can follow you, but you know, Hey, if anybody is watching this and say, I wish I could be emotionally more courageous to be more visible in my business. Cause I know that that's going to make me such a difference for people finding me, contacting me, then Bing's has, is going to have a wonderful online course that's energy based to help you, you know, through guided meditations help you to become, um, love that process of becoming visible. Um, Bings, you want to share anything else about how you work with clients, your offer, what, how do you, yeah, if somebody is interested in maybe working with you, tell us about that. Okay. Uh, I think my greatest strength, the way my husband describes me, is that I'm totally harmless. So, so my clients feel very comfortable sharing they are conflicting emotions with me. Uh, and yeah, they're not afraid of being judged uh, by, by me. And that's what I really need from my clients, to be honest about how they feel. Uh, you don't have to describe how you feel, but you need to feel how you feel so that I can help you to process it further. I work on an energetic basis, an uh, energetic level. To help you unwind those feelings that can impact your physical, emotional, spiritual level, and I feel like uh, I feel that being courageous enough to feel your feelings is uh, is the best thing you can do to help move yourself forward to grow your business. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's great. Um, great. Well, let's wrap up this conversation. Is there anything else you want to say before we wrap things up? Uh, just to express my gratitude. I am very, very happy to be in this community of Master Heart and to have um, the group support and also your guidance in attending the workshops. Uh, yeah, and I hope that more heart-based business owners can join our group. Yeah, that's, yeah, thank you, thank you. Well, we do have a limit, uh, so we're, <laughs> we're just about full. <laughs> but yeah, if you're a heart-based business owner, find out what Bing's is offering in terms of the energetic and emotional support that can help you to become more visible and really create the content that your ideal audience is is, is thirsty for, is hungry for, you know. Um, I think that all of us have, I mean, th those watching this particularly, like you have such a valuable gift. Don't hold back, you know, give that gift so that others can be blessed by what you are, what you came here to do. And if you would like some support in that, Bings is a wonderful partner, friend, coach, healer to, to work with. So uh, check out her, her website, check out her Facebook page. Um, and thank you, Bings, for what you do in the world and, and for doing this call. Um, thank you, Josh. Thanks. Thank you.